Welcome to Nudura's Tech Talk. Today we will be discussing six basic steps for building with Nudura. Step number one, we will be talking about going with conventional strip footings. Or you can place your blocks on top of a slab. This particular house here, we have started on a strip footing. Stacking the blocks one on top of each other coming off of that footing. Here we are at step two, building with Nudura's technology. As you can see behind me, we have a wall that's already been completed using Nudura's blocks. When using our blocks and stacking them together, we simply take two of our forms, one on top of each other, lock them in place, and push down, stacking the forms up to your desired wall height. Step three in building with Nudura's technology is adding reinforcing steel. Before we stack two forms, one on top of each other, we do need to add some reinforcing steel into the wall. Simply take your length of reinforcing steel and clip it in to the notch locations. As we showed you in our demonstration blocks, putting the horizontal reinforcing steel in place, once we've completed the wall height, we can now place our vertical steel into the wall. And simply taking and weaving it down between the horizontal steel allows that vertical steel to lock in place. Step four in building with Nudura technology is bracing and alignment. A lot of common questions that are asked in Nudura are how do I keep the wall straight and plumb during the building process? The, the alignment system that is used to brace Nudura's walls allows an installer to align the wall through a turnbuckle system that moves the wall in or out to uh, ensure straightness. Step five in, use, in building with Nudura's technology is placing concrete into the wall. Nudura recommends for a successful concrete pour to use a concrete pump. The concrete pump allows the installer to move around the perimeter of the house unobstructed. As you can see, we're now at the top of the wall, looking in to where the concrete's being placed. If you take a look here, we've got a six inch concrete wall with two, and two panels of two and five eighths inches foam on either side. This gives you a solid monolithic concrete wall with insulation on both faces. Gives you a high insulating value. Now that the wall has been filled with concrete, the contractor can go ahead and put the roof in place and put the windows in. Step six, after those two components are completed, are finishes, interior and exterior. For more information on interior and exterior finishes, please visit Nudura's website at nudura.com.